Thank you, Mitch. <laughs> no pressure there. Good afternoon, everyone. What a wonderful turnout. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, not only to our community members and our community leaders, but to our students that are here to celebrate with us and our faculty and staff that are here. Thank you so much for being part of this very special day. You know, when I hear people say they come back to campus and our campus has grown so much and we have so many more buildings and so many more programs and, and, and it just is so different than when they were here, but that feeling is still the same, that to me is such an important statement because that is really what Tiffin University is and has always been. And no matter how much we grow, no, many how, no matter how many buildings we continue to build, we always want that same feel at Tiffin University because it's who we are. You come on our campus, you interact with our people, and there's a feel at Tiffin University that is unlike any other place. And that feel is one of warmth, it is one of dedication, and it is one that I always call our place. It is truly, genuinely, authentically our place. People here care like I've never experienced before. Who we're honoring today is a phenomenal example of that. And before I get into just a little bit about Larry and Jeannie, I want to talk a little bit about three individuals that, with a lot of help, but because of their leadership, really made today happen. It's not often that a president has somebody that comes to her and says, hey, we'd like to raise some money for you. I mean, Mitch says that to me all the time because that's his job. And so his staff, but not necessarily friends of the institution that feel so strongly about a purpose and a cause that they decide that they're going to take it upon themselves to raise money for a very special couple in our community. And so those three individuals are Mike Herbert, who, are he, who is here. Mike, I want you to stand up, please. I know you're going to speak for an hour and a half in a little while, but if you would just stand up. Fred Zoller, who's standing up already here to my left or straight in front of me. And Mark Simone. All right, he's back there. These three gentlemen, thank you so very much, really helped make today happen. And they help make today happen for the very special friend of theirs. They also help make today happen for our institution. And they believe in our wrestling program. And they believe in our wrestling coach. And Joey, and now Brittany, with the support of Lonnie, have really made today happen. It's not often that you hear that an institution starts a women's wrestling program. But we, we, are, we are known to do things like that. And I will tell you that it is because of the leadership and the vision of Lonnie Allen, our Director of Athletics, and Joey and their teams that really made today happen. And it is because of, of the three individuals that I mentioned, Mike, Fred, Mark, and many of you that have allowed us to dedicate this building and this expansion to Larry and Jeannie Adelsberger. I can think of no other deserving couple and no other deserving individual Larry is quite an inspiration for those of you that know him, and I think that's one of the reasons we have the best crowd here that we've had at a ribbon cutting at Tiffin University. And he's this individual that just does it so genuinely and without ever wanting recognition for it. He cares about this community. He cares about our institution. And as far as I'm concerned, we're never going to let him go as a board of trustee member at this institution. <laughs> In all seriousness, his dedication to this community and to this institution and to his family is so very admirable that I can think of no special individual or family to celebrate today than to, that, to Larry and Jeannie Adelsberger. So thank you so much for being who you are. And we are going to celebrate today. Everything we do on our campus is for our students. Every building that we will look at ever building is to transform our students' lives through education because you, ladies and gentlemen, are the reason that we're here. And we want your experience to be the best it can be in the classroom and throughout campus. And this is just one example that really, really highlights that for us. So thank you to everyone that's been here today. Let's celebrate and enjoy the afternoon. I am grateful for this beautiful weather and for everybody that's here. Thank you very much.